All right, and now it's loading, and uh, it's going to import uh, just the regular assets, you know, the, the almost no assets, as you can see. Um, my asset folder is empty, and that's okay. I don't need much right now. I just need the main camera, and that's good. All right, so this is a project. First thing is to create a scene. Now, I can just already save that by pressing Command S or just Control S and just save this scene, the asset, and I'm going to call this one main and then save. All right, and now I have an empty scene, but it's still a working game. All right, now at this point, the next thing I want to do is create the, uh, the ball. And the easiest way to create the ball is to use prototypes. Right now, I'm not going to create all the details and all the different colors yet. I'm just going to create a very simple prototype, and then we'll go and add all the user interface and all the game design later. So first of all, I'm going to click on game object, and here I'm going to use a 2D object, and we can create a sprite. Now, um, one thing here is that if I do that, that's OK, but I don't have any sprites yet. So I will have to create a sprite. And as you can see, it's just an empty sprite. And there isn't much going on here. It's just empty. So something else I could do is um, create a, a circle. And as you can see, inside of game objects, you can see that uh, we have 2D objects and 3D objects, like a cube and so on. So what you could do is use a 3D object here to create a 2D object. So you can definitely add some kind of a sphere. And, um, and if you go to the scene here, you'll see the sphere. But guess what? The, the sphere only looks in 2D because we created a 2D scene. So it's up to you at this point. Um, this could be more than enough. It could do just fine. Now, um, I'm just going to delete the new sprite and just work with that sphere. And I'm going to call this one um, sphere and then player, OK? Why player? So that I know that it's the main player. It's the, what the player controls. All right. Now, what I want to do is add some, um, some color. Right now, it's, uh, it's like all black. So how do you add color? Well, first thing you can do is to create lighting. So I'm going to go to a game object and uh, go to light. And we can create um, a directional light. And as soon as I do this, look what happened. We see the sphere that just popped here. Now. Something that you notice now, this is not just a, a, a plain sphere like it is in the game. Because um, if you look at their game, it's just a plain sphere. Now, this is totally doable by, um, by changing the color, the, the intensity of the light. I can completely burn the intensity and uh, you know, play with, the, with this and remove the shadows and things like that. And that will do what we have there. But I actually think that it actually looks better with that. So I'm going to leave that, OK? All right. Now, you can play with, uh, so, so we have a directional light. If I go to the scene, I can see that we have um, the sphere and the directional light here. Now, I can play with my directional light to move it around so that what, what would happen by moving it around, the light effect would change in the sense that instead of having the light effect coming from the, the side, it would come from somewhere else. So I could play with the rotation. Check this out. Um, right now, the light is at uh, 50 on the x and negative 30 on the y. But if I put 0, you see that? It's changing. So the light moves from one side to the next. So I could just like move it around. And you can see the light is just moving around. So at this point, it's up to you and see where you want the light to be. But uh, the original light was just fine. So I'm going to leave it just the way it is.